What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel here from the Geek Speak Nation channel and I'm here to bring you my review of season four of House of Cards. So, season four of House of Cards was something I was really excited for because I am a really big fan of seasons one through three. And I know that I have never reviewed it for this channel because I had watched all those before I started the channel, but I wanted to let you all know that I am a really big fan of House of Cards and all the devious characters and mischief that goes on behind the scenes that just really makes you wonder, can you really trust the government? You don't really know. But going into season four, I was really hesitant actually because I was always wondering, would I really be interested in a season just about him trying to keep everything from going under? Uh, everything he had built and trying to avoid the what is probably going to more than likely be the inevitable downfall of the Underwoods. And to my surprise, I really was. I don't know why I had any doubts going into the season. Because I, I had questioned whether or not I would find it interesting seeing Frank try to maintain his power. But what the show writers are able to do with this season is something very very phenomenal and it's a very as usual character driven season with frank underwood but also in those around him and his relationship with uh, claire is really really interesting in how they change the dynamics and that when you have claire going up against frank how that reveals so much about both of their characters. Not only their strengths, but also their weaknesses. And which is a really big thing about this season was seeing the weakness in almost every single character that we've known since the first season that have still lasted up until now. And seeing how they've changed um, the way they look at themselves due to past events and the way that uh, Kathy Durant looks at herself is different or the way Jackie looks at herself is different. Um, and it's so interesting. Or the way Remy looks at himself based off of what happened with Tusk and the way uh, he's being used in the season. And that's something I really, really enjoyed about the season was everyone finding a new level of vulnerability that really created even more depth to these very, very well-realized characters. And especially in the case of Frank. Uh, we have seen him vulnerable before, especially when he was climbing to become uh, president and he was going between the transition between vice president and president and during that time of impeachment where he wasn't wearing his ring and things of that nature. That was really interesting. And they continued to maintain such the just great high level of uh, production quality that they have. And having Robin Wright, the woman who, uh, the actress who portrays Claire in the show direct, she does a phenomenal job. And I believe what is, is it, I don't know if it's four or eight, but for the episodes she directs, she does a phenomenal, phenomenal job. And her work on season four and her character's involvement in season four was something astounding. And seeing her character develop even more in the, the events and seeing her become more fierce, which I didn't even think that was possible, was really inciting and really engaging for a fan like me who's been watching these characters go through all these things and all these events and seeing how that changes them uh, up until now. And I think this was such a great season of reevaluation and reestablishment and finding different layers of characters and vulnerabilities. That's what really made it great. And I'm excited for what they're gonna bring to us in season five. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to give the score. And I'm giving season four of House of Cards a 9.5 out of 10. If I could go back and give a rating to seasons one through three, which I mean, I can, and I probably will one day when I'm bored, I'd probably give them a 10 out of 10 because each season of House of Cards is truly amazing in the way it's filmed the way it's acted, the way it's created and written, everything about the show is phenomenal. It's one of my favorite shows of all time and also on, I was about to say on TV, on streaming on Netflix right now. And it's truly amazing work of art. And I have to say that even though there's not that many plot points that really propel, propel the story forward, I still think that this season was really phenomenal character work. And we got to see different dimensions of the char of characters we've seen since season one and see them in different lights like we've never seen before. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, do you agree with me or do you disagree? Did you love the season or did you hate it? Let me know in the comment sections down below. And also while you're there, 
hit that like button and subscribe to become a part of the Geek Nation. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. And we're almost there, guys. So we really, really appreciate all the support you've given us. And i just like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you guys do to help contribute to this channel. It really means a lot. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Daniel. And don't forget to get geeky.